Hey to all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review. So we have an interesting and I believe a complex collaboration beer on the table tonight. Going to Stockholm Brewing Company in Sweden, out of Stockholm of course. And they have teamed up with Neville out of uh, the Netherlands. And this is their Eternal Rye. Described as a two-barrel collaboration with Neville using Dutch rye and some local elderberries in old Rioja barrels with our house culture. So it's another one of their uh, cellar series out of Stockholm Brewing Company. Uh, fermented so barrel sours. There you go, it's on our rye. Uh, 375 mil coming in at 6.3%. Vegan friendly and uh, contains barley malt and rye and that's it. There you go guys. The usual uh, cap there. Uh, thick uh, neck bottle cap. Let's pop it. See what we get. I'm excited for this one. There we go. Finally, it's off. Let's see what this one brings to the table. So, I have said it before, Stockholm Brewing Company doing some exquisite barrel-aged sour beers, basically. They have a really, really exquisite barrel-aging program. And this one definitely seems to be, well, I don't know. There we go. It seems to be on top of things. There we go. Right, so teamed up with Neville out of uh, the Netherlands, so it's a Swedish-Dutch uh, collab. In view, fingers worth of a nice uh, bright white shining head, actually. Goodilla carbonation. There you go, it's definitely kind of a, uh, almost like an orange uh, tinge to this uh, beer. Orange, almost slightly light brown, I would say. Yeah, there you go, guys. Doesn't that look pretty? It looks pretty, I think. Let's get the aroma. Oh, yeah. Intense sourness already on the nose. Uh, oh, my goodness me. This is going to be... This is going to be hard on the stomach, I guess. Yeah. And you got sour fruits. Sour apricots. Red wine uh, vibes. Grapes, sour grapes. Definitely that kind of uh, sour apricot going on. Farmhousey, very farmhousey, very sour on the nose. Yeah, I can't escape that kind of uh, very apricot vibe. Apricots, sour apricots, uh, red wine. Sour grapes, that's what I'm getting, guys. Very fruity, sour, intense, I would say. Okay, enough said. Let's dive in, see what we get then. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. That's very lovely, actually. Oh, my goodness me, that's really lovely. Mm. Okay, quick second sip, guys, before we dive in on this one. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very interesting beer. It's sour. It's definitely intense, sour, sour and uh, but it's the, here comes the thing. It's not overpowering, as you would imagine by the, by the very smell of it. It's quite manageable. You've got a good deal of sourness going on. You've got lovely orange and apricots in there. Sour orange, sour apricots, red wine, grapes, fruity, lovely, with a, intermingled with a little bit of sweetness to top it off, actually. So it's mostly sour, of course, quite intensely sour, but not overpowering, as I said, but with a little bit of with a dash of sweetness in there. That's very, very interesting. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let's go for the final sip.
Yeah, I get a little bit of the barrel aging there. Not much, actually, to be fair. I'm getting a little slight oakiness. Not much. The dominating flavors are sour oranges, sour apricots, sour grapes, with a dash of uh, sweetness thrown into the mix, into that very, very lovely beer. Mm. Oh, yeah. Really interesting, very fruity, very, very fruity back end as well. For me, guys, this is a very, very lovely sour, a little bit more complex, a little bit more uh, challenging to your palate. But if that's your thing, you will love Eternal Rye. It's a collaboration bear between Stockholm Brewing Company and Neville out of... Uh, uh, out of the Netherlands, um, they, they say that they have used some elder flowers in there. I don't really get elder flowers to be fair. I'm getting a lot of uh, apricot and a lot of oranges. That that's what I'm getting, and grapes. Don't get that. Don't get the elder flower. But it's a very very nice beer if you like these more complex sours. For me, straight up four out of five. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.